I'm Dr. Ange Mack. Welcome to Your Health. It's personal, personal, Zoom style. This program is designed to focus on the benefits of integrative medicine and whole person care to include self-care so you can live your best life. And today I'm so excited to have with me the legendary Tammy Lee Webb of, if you all, I'm sure you remember, Buns of Steel, Abs of Steel, Arms of Steel, um, all of these programs that I loved in the 90s when I was growing up and really getting into fitness. And um, what I, just a quick story really quick, and Tammy, I'll, I'll do a full introduction, but I didn't even realize Tammy was still doing what she was doing and going strong, and she is, and she's fabulous. And two weeks ago, I was looking for online, in-home workout programs, ran across my old Buns of Steel things, and I'm like, I wonder if Tammy's still around. And she is, and she has a great website, Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff. Tammy Lee, thank you so much for being with me today. Oh, thanks for looking me up and realizing that I'm not dead. I'm still alive and I'm still doing things. I just are, you know, nowadays there's so many ways to get fitness um, and information that um, back in my days, it was pretty much television, right? And magazines. And not everybody could do that. And now that we have the World Wide Web and all these social platforms, we're able to do this. And so, so. We're able to reach so many everywhere. So, yes, yes. So thank you. Thanks for looking me up. Absolutely. I'm just, I'm so excited that you're here and then you're doing this with us today. Before we kind of get started into the interview, I just want to ask, um, right now in these times, where we're all kind of quarantined and in our home. What, what are you doing to stay balanced and healthy? Uh, that's a good question. I've been on uh, several of these interviews <laughs> and, and it seems to be the question. And what I, I found that works for me and that I'm suggesting for my clients is that you've got to keep yourself on a schedule. Mm -hmm. So I still get up and I do my meditation. I make my bed. I get myself ready. Obviously, I'm in workout clothes most of the time. So, um, and then I, you know, I, I have fur babies, so I take them out for the walk and I get everything uh, settled. And then I do either my online live videos or workouts. I check on my clients. There are a, a few clients that still want to work out with me, but um, one, I make sure that they're healthy. Two, we work out outdoors. We keep our distance and we wear um, gloves and masks. That's great. And, and I think that's so, so important is that you do stick to some kind of routine. Yes. Um, yes. I think it's great for your health. And, you know, that many people still have to work from home, too. But if you're not oh, working right. from home, even more important, you know, get up and, and keep to a schedule. So you're not yeah. just, you know, consumed by the TV and the news, which I don't watch. I update myself once a day. Yeah. And, and that's yeah. So. And that's a really good point because I don't, I don't turn on my TV until maybe in the evening. Um, but I, same thing, I'll kind of skim over the news because I don't want to get absorbed with it, yeah. but I, I want to be knowledgeable what's going on. Um, but I also, if I feel like I'm getting too much because too much information of something that's negative is going to affect your your whole being not just your body but your mind and your emotions and it's those emotions that create a lot of the other um negative things that go on whether it's stress depression fear uh overeating over drinking um over medicating all of those things. So you really have to have a, a balance. But I found it easy for me at the beginning because I'm used to working at home. Right. Um, but sharing it with, like right now, I just have my, um, my boyfriend here, but he needs his workspace too. So we have to, to figure that out. And the other thing that I realized is that we all need our personal space. Yes. So whether you're brought together as a family unit, which in a lot of times, I think in today's 
busy, busy world. And now that that's been kind of like slammed down and we're forced to be among each other, it is good to regroup and reconnect. But at the same time, each one of us needs our own special time, our own special space and time during the day. So take take that in consideration. Yeah, yeah. I absolutely agree. And we, we want to kind of keep all that negative infiltration, inundation um, at bay and, and keep our thoughts right and our emotions right. It, it does impact every other area. So completely agree with that. All right. Well, let me get into some of the questions. So one of the things that I um, that I love about you is that you started your career from what I understand and I'm gonna I want your story too of course but one what I understand you started it um, in academia and education so you were getting your education first yeah. so, so give, tell me a little bit more about that yeah. so I have a background my um, uh, ma master's degrees in, is in exercise science but today they call that kinesiology mm -hmm. um, so I really got into training understanding how the body works internally as well as externally because I, I back in the days when I started remember aerobic dance was just kind of evolving and little aerobic dance studios were popping up I went to school um, at Chico State in Northern California and it's a small little school and and I loved it because I really got personal attention from my professors and I wanted to learn. So um, what I found fascinating was how the human body works. So if you do an exercise, is that exercise right for everybody? Right. Or contraindicated for some bodies? And based on uh, ages, uh, different body types and styles. Like I, I love learning. Oh, you mean you can be a mesomorph, ectomorph, or an endomorph or your combination? And how does that happen? So about the time that I went into um, explain that a little bit so our viewers know mm -hmm. ectomorph, endomorph. Yeah. So their body, their their body types. So yeah. I'm what you would call. I'm a true mesomorph. Mesomorphs develop muscle very easily. Yeah. They they are very good at um, short, fast explosion ex, uh, activities such as sprinting. Mm -hmm. um, in endomorphs are more of your rounder. Uh, I you know, and I'm and not being disrespectful. I'm not putting anybody down, but Oprah would be be that type of body type. She tends to be. A little bit larger mm -hmm. um, not that she can't be fit and healthy because she is yeah. but her body is never going to be a body like um, like a Cindy Crawford because that is an ectomorph so an ectomorph are great at long distance they're usually um, they're not as curvy yeah, they are better at burning fat okay so long distance those are your models your battle ballerinas um, anything long distance Mesomorph myself is going to be weightlifters, bodybuilders, sprinters. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, can and tell. So we develop muscle very easily, which works in our favor because it helps us shape our body and, and burn fat. And then the endomorph, but you can be a combination. So if your your mother was a mesomorph and your father was an ectomorph, and and you then could have the opportunity to be an ectomezo, a combination of those two, which tends to be some of the best athletes because they've got that that endurance and yet that sprint and, and building muscle that they need. Um, so yeah, so there's is, yeah. This is, this is a great integrative whole person care approach that you were doing even way back then, realizing yeah. that everyone is different in you know, how they look, how they metabolize, how they build muscle. So you're able to take all this information yeah. and then develop something that works specifically for that person. It's exactly yes. what the so, integrative health care is. So I think what that led me to is when I went to do my, um, so how I got into the fitness side of it and is I was asked to teach at an aerobic studio and I loved it. Um, and, but I, I also realized, wow, I could reach more people if I was doing videos. 
that got out to the mainstream. Mm -hmm. So I was really trying to figure out, you know, how, how can I get that? Because it, it wasn't anything about, I want to be a star. It was, I really wanted to reach out to people and go, look, I know something about the human body and how you can get a really good feel. I don't want to say good body. It's feeling good in your own body. Health so happens. it's not to look like my body It's to take your body and make it work the best for you. So when I would do my, when I finally did get on videos is that I was always explaining, all right, this is working your bicep, which is opposing muscle to your tricep. And some of you might have a longer, you know, bicep muscle. And so I talk a lot and teach people while I was doing the exercises of what was going on with the body and why we were doing this particular exercise mm -hmm. and how to modify it if it was if it was too hard for you and modification i think is really key when you have a fitness person leading because not everybody can do what you're doing right so so you were able to take everybody at their individual fitness level yes. their body type their metabolism all of that and develop the perfect plan for them L but let me ask why and it's so obvious that you are passionate why do you think you're so passionate about this? What kind of, when did you first know maybe growing up like, wow, this is important to me. I think this is going to be important for everyone else. And I want to share it with the world. Yeah. Well, I grew up in Northern California in a small little town called Rio Dale. I used to call it real doll as a child. <laughs> And um, my, my father actually, when he was younger, played semi-pro baseball. And then I had three brothers. So I was the only girl and nobody wanted to play dolls with me. So I was always playing sports with, with my brothers and all my cousins other than a couple of them were girls. So it was always sports oriented. Yeah. And then my father, um, who was just, he was an athlete. He was, he was my idol. He was just so strong. And, and, um, he got a heart disease at the age of 37 wow. and he, he was told, and that would be like telling someone like me or yourself, you can no longer get your heart rate over a hundred beats per minute. And at that time, he was the all-star little league coach and kids would come from all over to be trained by him. And he loved, loved kids and he would train them all. And anyway, they were getting ready to leave for an all-star tournament. And he decided, he decided that day that I'm going to show them how to run the bases. So he, he hit the ball and he started to run the bases and he ran to home plate and had a heart attack and passed away. Oh, wow. And I was 14 at the time. And I just, I, I was, my whole world had changed. And so for me, it was important to get people to understand one, that their body is their everything. It's their machine. And the body is so bright and intelligent. Yet we have, so much out there that's take this drug, take that drug. And I'm, I'm not saying don't take any drugs or medication. What I'm saying is if you choose to live a healthier lifestyle and choose to eat foods that are real pure, not chemical based, not um, uh, produced through things yeah. that are not healthy because oh food God. is really medicine. Yeah. And moving your body, your body will work with you. So I always, one of my tagline is take care of your body and your body will take care of you, but your body is more than just the physical that you see. So the other part of that was if you could look on the inside of your body, unzip it right now and take a look on the inside, what would that look like? Mm -hmm. But we can't see that. And nobody walks around going, wow, Dr. Andy, look at you. Nice liver. Look at that heart. <laughs> we don't see that. We just see the outside. Exactly. And most of us will ignore what's going on until the body can't take it anymore and goes, all right, bam, I'm going to shut you down and, and make you wake up, which is what I think what we're all going through right now. Yes. It's the universe saying, okay, people, it is time to slow down, live in the moment, and reconnect. 
And that's what I wanted to help with people with their bodies and to help them before they got sick, not after they got sick. The prevention piece is so critical because, you know, here, especially in America, we're so disease oriented. We wait till somebody gets sick before we yeah. decide to start doing something about it. And integrative whole person's care is, is the opposite. It's like, let's prevent people. Like you said, what can we do to keep you from getting sick so you can live your best and healthiest life going forward? And uh, mm -hmm. it, it's, it's wonderful that you're passionate, so passionate about this and still moving forward with it. Um, I was on your website too, once I discovered that you were still here and so happy <laughs> to see it. And it looks like you have, you know, a lot of, um, a lot of your, your older things too, your buns of steel, your abs of steel, your arms of steel, but then some newer, newer pieces as well. And I know. Oh, look at that. You got them. You got them. Yeah. This is my first buns of steel. Yes. Um, buns of steel three and then abs of steel. And yeah, they, um, I had the combo pack. I had like, I had them both the VHS tapes, like both of them together. So did them yeah. religiously in the early nineties. So yeah. Yeah, I think I shot my first one, the Buns of Steel 3, back in 1989, but it wasn't released till the 90s. Mm -hmm. And um, they, you know, they, they, yes, they're, what, 25 years old now, but the exercises aren't old. It's right. the the leotard, the hairstyle, the music. <laughs> the the leotards are, are awesome. I was looking at those. <laughs> You, you inspired me to actually get a couple of those leotards that I wore to the gym. And now I'm thinking, oh my God, I can't believe I, I actually did that. But um, we all did those kind of crazy things in the early 90s. And, and yes. I would say that, especially with your abs of steel, that must have got ingrained in me because even today when I go to the gym, a lot of your ab workout, I still do. And I didn't realize it till I was re-watching these here recently and doing it. It's like, I am still doing those today. So you just, you yeah. have a huge impact, I'm sure on, you know, millions of people. So thank you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. So you got these running in the nineties and I actually just ran across this too. And it's your walk at home. Is that something new? Cause I hadn't seen that. Tell me a little bit about that one. Oh, no, I, um, I think I produced that. I want to say maybe, uh, eight years ago. It's, it's oh. old, but um, actually a company came to me and said, would you do a walking tape for us? Um, and, and I thought, well, yeah, okay, this would be fun. And it's basically movement. So the way that it works, um, it's really good for people who are just starting out. Mm -hmm. uh, they can do it in, in right here in their home. They don't need a, a lot of space, but it's basically walking patterns. So the first mile is I'm not doing any arms. It's just the walking patterns in place at, and in in at, in place at home. So so it, there are things like walking forward and back, marching out and in. So okay. they're 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 patterns, um, but I wouldn't say it's not like knee up and great. But it's it's just patterns until you get familiar with it. And then the second mile is the, kind of the same patterns, but now you're adding some arm movements with it which will challenge you a little bit more. And we know by lifting your arms up or forward, anytime you're doing this, your heart rate has to work a little bit harder to get the blood up there, right? So that's why we have, when you do sit and be fit, you're doing a lot of this stuff and the heart rate's getting up. Yeah, and then the last one is, I combine that with light hand weights. Okay, okay. Yeah, that was that was a new one for me. I hadn't I hadn't seen that one, but that's that's definitely something all of us can do in the home right now. And yes. I know we are we are searching like putting some new exercise pieces into the into our routine. I'm I'm really missing my hot hot Bikram yoga and hot yoga, and I'm really missing hitting the gym and and lifting the weights. So I'm literally going around the house trying to find something I can lift. I mean, push ups are good. Right. And tricep push-ups are good and things like that, but like things for your biceps sure. and stuff. Yeah, actually there's, um, you know, your body is a form of resistance. So this whole month I do, um, I have a website called Design Your Fit Plans. These videos are on there, but I break them down into 10 minute or 15 minute workouts. And so you can go on there and you can pick and choose. So if you said, I, you know, I want to do 10 minute apps. So you just look through the list of, 
10 minute abs, or if you wanted to do 20 minute cardio. So you do a 20 minute cardio and it, it's, um, you can pick and choose and design it. Or I put together like this month, we're doing a quarantine challenge. I love so it. there's, I love there's it. a workout that I already planned for you. And if anybody wants to do the, the quarantine um, challenge, I, all means and whoever does the most of them each day um, your what your choice is is either a one-on-one -on -one workout with me or I design your own personal calendar for a one month uh, workout yeah and wow. then on Sundays I'm going to do all the workouts live on my Facebook private page if you're a member of Design Your Fit Plans. Yeah. So it's, de it's Design Your Fit Plan so they can go in there and register and become a, men uh, a member. Yeah. It's a membership, but you can cancel it at any time. I don't, you know, I, I don't want any, uh, right now we need this. And then if it's over and you like to go back to the gym, I totally get it. But I also do online training. And, um, so online training is, is very popular. Some people prefer in person, you know, some people prefer to go and do group X classes versus being alone in their home. So I get it. There's always different ways to do it. And right now, so many of us fitness people are providing workouts um, every day pretty much every day I go live. So this month, like last month in March was all about the buns. This month it's all about the upper body. So today I'm going to be doing some biceps and you can follow me on Instagram and that's where I do it. I do a live Instagram um, feed there and you can just either grab your weights, but there's all kinds of different things. Like you said, you know, a lot of people don't have weights or anything at home, but push-ups, tricep dips, um, those are some standard things that I highly recommend. Yeah, those are those are tried and true. So so that's great. So you have a lot of great programs. It sounds like things that people can get into from their home. Your your live versions. Now, are you doing Zoom group workouts yet? Have you started doing any of those? Or are you looking at doing? <laughs> um, so I do have one that's coming up. I've been asked by a nail company uh, to do something for their nail people because okay. they have like carpal tunnel syndrome they're sitting a lot different things that they can do um and and we're trying to decide most likely i will do that uh either outside and zoom is a great way to do it but there's uh, there's so many other options there are mm -hmm. out there yeah well that's that's great it, i mean it sounds like you're being like super flexible and creative with the time um just to help as many people as possible and you know keep them you know focused on themselves which is where we need to focus first um and then helping so many others when you're in that great place and you're feeling good and, and yeah you know reach out and do more so so some great programs um you you mentioned there are some things that people can do and, and i will just share really quick most people that know me and follow dr Ange Mack also know that i'm ceo and president of the northern virginia veterans association and our population is mainly the L older veteran like those over 55 yeah and I understand that's kind of your your focus too i mean you work with those that are maybe a little bit older and you have different exercises that um people can do in the in the yes. home. So i want to share what are some good easy things that maybe an, an older veteran or anyone could do in the home okay so one of my favorites that it, for anybody that i share is called i call it butt ab us butt abbas okay. and it's butt and abs ultimate squeeze <laughs> you can do this you can do it driving in the car you can do it sitting as we're, as we're doing but what you would do so who's ever listening if you're sitting there you're going to do this with us you just sit up nice and tall your feet are on the floor now your butt muscle or gluteus right if you squeeze them together see how i kind of go up well i and you do do <laughs> okay, so you're contracting right there. You're working your gluteus muscle just by contracting, release. One, Contract. One and two and Right? So you, you can put double. How long do you hold it for like that isometric? Okay, so there's 
I, 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 I like to tell people, put on your favorite tunes, whatever that is. So let's say it was New York, New York, and you just kind of go with it, with the beat of it. So squeeze, release, squeeze, release. And then you could go double time for eight and then hold and release, hold and release, right? Mm -hmm. And double time. Now, because you have a gluteus right and left, you can also go right, left, right, left, right, left. So you're squeezing one cheek and then squeeze the other cheek, right? And then you can do them together again and then right and left, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, that in itself, think about this. Most songs are about three to four minutes. If you do this for one song, you are going to feel great. The second part of that is the abs. Now your abs, so place your hands on your abs. And if you were to cough, <coughs> you would contract your abs, right? <coughs> so your abs contract. If you throw up, your abs would contract. We don't want any of that. If you laugh, and you have a big belly laugh, you're contracting your abs. So I always tell people, hang out with people that make you laugh or watch movies that make you laugh. It, it, it brings up the serotonin, it contracts your abdominal muscles. Okay, so now let's go back to contracting the glutes, but at the same time, contract your abs. And if you don't, don't not, not sure of how to contract the abs, cough. <laughs> Not that you want to sit there and cough, especially right now, but contract, release, contract, release, right? Contract, release. And then on the sides, on the obliques, and if you just push it from side to side, you can feel the side obliques contract. And then do it with alternating the gluteus, the right cheek, the left cheek, the right cheek, the left cheek. Yeah. So you're contracting. Probably yeah. make sure that you're, you're upright as possible, so your spine yes. is upright, so you're not going to like doing this, but you're... Right. Yes. So if we did it to music, and we're doing double time, single, side to side, for three minutes, you will definitely feel that, for sure. Do it for three to four minutes for one song, and just move with it. So decide if you're going to go right and left for eight, double time eight, hold, release, hold, release. There's so many things that you can do there. One of my other favorites, and of course, I don't know why I didn't bring it in, is rubber bands. So my first book was called The Original Rubber Band Workout. And I released it back in 1986. And they were, they were rubber, but they were a sports band. Well, nowadays I use ones that are fabric, and you put it above your knees. So if we were, as we're sitting here, you put it above your knees, and then just move your knees outward like this. Oh yeah, so it's like a, an adductor, abductor machine. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. But here's the thing, is when you're doing that, I always have my clients say, you sit and work. I need you to get up every 30 to 45 minutes and I want you to activate your high glutes. So by sitting there and doing that or standing and doing that, you're activating the high part of your gluteus, which is gonna help support your low back. And that's where people end up getting in lots of back problems because they're not contracting their abdominals. So if most of us sit here and work and we end up hunched over, yeah. instead of pulling it up, pulling our abs in, and then contracting those, that will help support the low back. The other thing, I'm gonna stand and show this. So back here in the gluteus, you want to tuck the pelvis under instead of hyperextending. So tuck it under, you'll contract the abs, squeeze in the glutes, and release. Contract, release. It's the same thing that I was showing you when we were just sitting down. Sure, sure. No, that, yeah, that tucking under piece, I think is critical because people can tend to, to Art. stay this way and hunch yeah. this way, I've, I've noticed. So yeah. those are some, those are some great, great exercises. And, and I'm going to, I'm going to look at trying to incorporate those just throughout my day. I think I'll probably have to put a reminder in my calendar or something because I know I won't remember yeah. because you get so like into whatever you're doing. Mm -hmm. But I, I think that's great. Just put a little like every 30 minute reminder, every hour reminder. So you get up and, and do something. Yes. Yeah. I'm sure you'll be able to be able to tell a difference in yourself after, you know, after a week or so of just 
focusing on these types of things. Yeah. And I tell people, okay, if you, if you don't remember, cause you're so integrated it into your work, if you get in your car and you turn the music on, just take one song and start doing that. Just say, each time I get in my car, or if I'm gonna sit, or a commercial. So a commercial can go anywhere from 30 seconds to about three minutes. Okay. And again, just start contracting, 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 right and left. Um, some other body weight ones, like doing tricep dips. Mm -hmm. So if you're off of a chair, doing push-ups off the wall. So you go up against the wall and do a push-up. So that's really good for um, my uh, older clients because doing a plank is really hard for them. So I'll start them at an angle and then slowly bring them down and they're able to do it then. Yeah, so it's yeah, modification. Progressive, yeah, progressive workout, building your strength mm -hmm. progressively and then before they know what they're doing, 50 push-ups on the floor, so. Yes. yes. Yeah. That, that is that is so great and such practical ideas too you don't need anything special to do these but i will say you inspired me because i actually went on amazon last week and got some of the bands good um, like yeah the regular circular bands because i've i've never used those but i have used just kind of the singular ones mm -hmm. and i wanted something to where i could do like some resistant you know yes i have nothing here so i got some regular bands and some of those circular ones i got to figure out how to use the circular ones so i'll be watching your stuff yeah, I do. Yeah, I always tell people, my clients, when they're traveling, they, I order them the rubber tubing with the handles. And okay. you can get them, um, I get either Spry's tubing or Dynapro, but they're tubing with a handle. And rubber tubing is a great form of resistance because it gives you both a positive and a negative. Mm -hmm. And it also helps with stretching. There's many things they can do with it. But because it's rubber, you always want to be careful of not to pull it towards your face. And also keeping the wrist in line with the forearm and not hyperextending it. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. good points, good points. So I can see people like looking for some of these things now, now that we're, you know, stuck at home. And or hopefully mine will come soon. Um, well, and the rubber, the tubing is like, I wonder, it's less than $20. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so inexpensive and it's a great little workout pro product you can travel with and, and do at home. Yeah, the, the travel with piece, I, I always loved with the bands. I had, a, I had therapeutic bands. I just had them from, from my, having my son. He always had these therapeutic bands. And yeah. I would throw them in my suitcase and take them with me. I'm like, this is like the easiest. Is light the black ones? Yes. Yeah, so, so those are what we call TheraBands. And how I came upon using bands for exercise was when I had finished my master's degree, I thought, well, maybe I'll go into PT, physical therapy. Yeah. And so I, I thought, well, I'm going to volunteer my time first before I invest another two years into school. So I went into a physical therapy um, facility and I worked there, volunteered for a couple weeks and I realized they were using exactly what you said, the flat bands, mm -hmm. therabands, therapeutic bands, and they were using them as a re re reform to an injury. And I thought, well, if you can use this to gradually build a progression in a strength for a muscle, then why couldn't you do that as a form of resistance? So I started bringing them into my exercise class. So smart, so smart, so innovative, you know, just taking what's there and re, you know, reapplying it to yeah. you know, any, any situation, any condition um, yeah. for the original workout. So, um, and that's what's going to happen with all this that's going on. People are going to get inspired. They're going to reinvent things and, and show, wow, this is what came of all of this. So there, there will be a silver lining. I think there, are, I think there absolutely will be. I see more positive outcomes than negative outcomes um, with this, everything that's going on. I just see like the, the use of telemedicine where a lot of healthcare providers were very resistant to it because it would be like one more thing they would have to do and know. And now every, everyone's having to use it basically. All, all the different types of specialists and healthcare providers and coaches and workout instructors yeah. We're all kind of being forced now to learn this and we're going to be hitting people in rural areas and taking care of people that can't get out of their homes better. Um, and that's just one thing. I see people out walking that I'd never seen out walking before. So, I, you know. 
just uh, it's yeah, a walking is a great form of, of exercise. And um, but the other thing that when I work with my clients, and most of my clients are probably in their fifties um, and sixties, mm -hmm. is that we have very weak upper body, especially women. And the, who wants to have a walker to try and help them walk or get up? Mm -hmm. You want to have a strong upper body to be able to push yourself right up. So I do a lot of upper body stuff to get us strong yes. and not have to depend on, on assisting us to, to stand. Yeah, it, it, it's so important. It's so important. We want to be healthy and strong into our older age. I mean, like people in their 50s now, we, we might be like halfway there. I mean, this could just be like the halfway point for us. So we want to be strong, you know, physically. Yeah cognitively we want to keep learning things new and again with this whole COVID-19 we're forced to learn something new and maybe learn about ourselves a little bit better and learn about you know the people that are around us a little bit better I'm zooming with people that I've never known before I'm um, to to include yourself but outside of this just new communities that I'm learning and just just falling in love with so uh, yeah. a lot of great things um, and, and let me, and Tammy, let me ask you this. I always kind of uh, want to know, do you have some kind of like favorite story um, that, that you love to share that just has to do with, you know, your, your love of fitness or maybe who you've worked out with or something you've done? Um, you know, when you ask that question, I, I, the one, th there's several, but the one that comes to mind is I was in, this was early on when I was doing Bunza Steel was released and I was in London and I was asked to do a, um, a photo shoot for some magazine. And so I, I go there and the photographer has no idea who I am. And anyway, somebody had said, uh, Bunza Steel and he goes, Oh, I bought that for my wife as a joke. And it turned out she loved it. And I was laughing <laughs> and he's like, what's so funny? I go, so I held up my video and he's like, oh my God. That's too funny. That's too funny. I so, know. It was a joke, but the joke was on him. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was. And completely. I mean, it was a great joke for him because now his wife probably had buns of steel, right? So yeah. Good yeah, for him. yeah, it turned out to be good for him. And, and a lot of men bought my abs of steel videos. Mm -hmm. They did they did that workout uh, a lot. Um, yeah, there's, there's tons of stories. I used to get packages when I was on ESPN Fitness Pros. I guess the, the prisons had us on and I would get little packages. And one day one guy had sent me a prisoner and he sent I, what in it was like this knitted something and I pull it out and it's, it's like a, g-string bikini and he sent the receipt saying it's the I, this is i made from from new <laughs> new um th whatever he was making it with and i was like oh my gosh really and he wanted me to take a picture of it on and send it back to him Oh, I'm, I'm sure he did want that. I'm absolutely sure he, he wanted your next uh, workout video to be in this little thong bikini. So. Uh, some strange things out there. Yeah. yeah. No, that's too funny. That's too funny. Well, this, um, this has been wonderful, Tanalee, talking to you and, and meeting you like this. I'm just a, a huge fan over the years. So happy that you're still doing this and you're going strong. Anything new on the horizon we can look forward to? I know you kind of mentioned maybe a band book and you're doing some great you know, like in-home quarantine stuff, but anything new we can look forward to? Yeah, well, honestly, I, other than I'm working really hard and getting people um, listening to my members for Design Your Fit Plans, but Yes, a band book, I think, is in need because there's so many different types of bands now. Yes. And, and yeah, I haven't seen anybody do it. And I thought, well, maybe, maybe I, I would do another book or, or an e-book on it. But I do have, I've been working on an e-book called um, Ageless Through the Decades. And so uh, the Fit at 40 is complete. 
and then I have a fit at 50 and fit at 60 beyond. And it's basically just how our body evolves and the things that change, what you kind of have to look forward to. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. some of it may not sound so great. When we turn, especially in your 60s, your skin will change. Your skin will start changing with each decade, yeah. but it really loses its elasticity by, by in your 60s and your 70s. So the skin texture looks different. And think of it, we're mostly made up of skin. That's our largest organ. Yeah. And, and there's not a lot you can do there, but you can for the muscle. And as long as you're not overeating and having all the fat there, that too can be taken away. Mm -hmm. So you can always make it look better. Yeah, you can, you can. And the, if the muscle is underneath and it's strong, that's, and the mm -hmm. joints are strong and moving well, I think that's, you know, just the most important piece, uh, you know, as we age. And, yeah. And, and, <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, and in addition, I'm, I'm hearing, you know, we can take in more collagen, there's collagen powders, there's great lotions and sweating sweating like every day opening those pores and keeping your skin working what do you think about that you think that's key absolutely because our like i said your skin is so important and but it also has a lot to do with what you're eating people don't realize that sugar and that's probably my downfall i love i'm more of sweet than salt and sugar breaks down a lot of, of it, it ages us a lot quicker yeah, than not having water yeah yeah I don't want to hear that. Don't tell me that. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> love the I love the sugar too, but you know, at least hopefully we're burning it off if, if nothing else. So yeah. I'm yeah. And, and drink, drink water. Get, make sure that you're getting hydrated. Water's real important. Lemons. Yeah. Lemons. Um, if you can start your day with a, a glass of warm water with lemon, it just flushes out the liver. It gets, it, it's just, it's such a, a good fruit for aesthetics for our body. Yeah, that, those are some great, great tips. I, and I do, I do many, many of those things too. Very, very similar just to start your body off fresh in the morning um, and, and flush the liver and the kidneys and, and all of that stuff. Good. Okay. And, and before, and before we sign off, um, if people want to contact you or get involved, get more information, would the best thing to do would be to go to your website or your, your design fit for life? I mean, what's, wh where should we point people so they know where to yeah, go? Yeah, I mean, you could go to my website, tamalyweb.com and just go to contact and send me um, a, a question. Or if you want to, right now I am, as long as there's availability, if you go to my Facebook page, which is Tamily Web Fitness, you can book a, a, a 15 minute uh, consultation with me for free. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Nice. And so when you book that, then I just ask, you know, what's your main question so that, it, that I, we have everything prepared in that, that time allowed. And um, yeah, and I will have a little 15 minute consultation with you, but if not, just email me. And, and if I don't get back to you right away, I will won't I? I will yes, give back will. to you. Yes, you, you were so responsive. I was so happy to get that email back. I was like, oh my gosh, she actually emailed me back. So so thank you. Thank you so much. And and so it's Tammy Lee, T-A-M-I-L-E-E, -E, Tammy Lee, yeah. uh, W-E-B-B. -E and mm -hmm. uh, I, I sometimes I catch you on Instagram too. You'll have a live thing on Instagram, which is, which is fun when I'm on and I can catch one of those really quick. Um, I, I appreciate you so much for um, having this interview with us and being able to share what you're doing, thinking up ways to get people involved with your quarantine calendars and your workouts. I think that's, that's extraordinary. And it just goes to show that, you know, we, we are all, I think, coming together, trying to put out new ideas and yeah. help one another. Just, yeah. Just and so same to you, same to you, Angie, you, what you're doing is, is a, a great need for our vets and for people in, in general for any age and bringing good information because there's a lot of information out there and not all of it is, is accurate. So um, as I change my heart, my handshakes to double heart, thank you very much. You too. Thank you so much. And thanks for joining us. And, and if you're out here after all this is over, we'd love, love to meet you and get together. Oh yeah. I will be out there. I come out there per periodically.
Very good. Well, well, until until then and throughout this time, stay well. Keep doing what you're doing. Love it, love it. So happy to see you and learn all the things that you're doing and to be able to share it with all these people. And I would just like to say to our viewers, thanks for tuning into this one. Um, we're so happy to get Comcast Zoom now rolling with us in these times. I'm Dr. Ange Mack. You can find all of the details. Um, it'll come out through my YouTube as well as Comcast and on my Dr. Ange Mack blog spot. we will have Tammy Lee's all of her websites and information so you can follow up with that there. And until next time, keep working out so you too can have those best funds. Thank you.